I'm Lisa Marie Smith. I'm one of the librarians from the Vernon Area Public Library's Youth and School Services Department. I'm here to tell you about some of our favorite books for first grade. And this month, my two favorites just happen to be about dinosaurs. The first book is called Friends Do Not Eat Friends. And it's written by Jill Esbaum with illustrations by Miles Thompson. It's the first title in a brand new beginning graphic novel series called Thunder and Cluck. Thunder is an enormous carnivorous dinosaur who has sharp spines, craggy teeth, and a taste for other dinos. On this day, he discovers Cluck, a small, thin, feathered dinosaur sleeping by a rock. He roars a roar that would make any dinosaur leave in a hurry, but not Cluck. He thinks it's absolutely hilarious. Cluck is a pretty chill fellow and decides that instead of being Thunder's lunch, he should be his friend instead. But exactly how he is going to convince him? Well, that's anyone's guess. This story of two dinosaurs, one predator, the other prey, will remind you a lot of those other unlikely funny friends, Elephant and Piggy. Not very familiar with graphic novels, how they work, or what they are? No problem. Thunder and Cluck are there to give you tips to help you learn just how to read their silly story inside their book. My next dinosaur tale is called Regina is Not a Little Dinosaur by Andrea Zul. Regina is a young dinosaur who is convinced that she is ready to go with her mom on a hunt and the other grown dinosaurs. Her mom, on the other hand, thinks she needs to stay back in the nest and wait. Well, Regina is not happy about this. She listens, but starts practicing her best dino hunting skills. Skills like giving her scariest fear-inducing stare or disguising herself with her expert level camouflage skills. She finally feels that she is ready to go on her first real hunt alone and takes off. But will things work out according to her plan? This funny adventure story will have you rooting for the little guy, or in this case, the little girl. These are just a couple of our favorite books for first graders at the Vernon Area Public Library. For more information about these books, what formats they're available in, and how you can put them on hold with your Vernon Area Public Library card, you can call us, email, or even message us. If you have a library card from another library, well, you can check there to see if they have them available for you to check out too. We have other great book recommendations and book talks available for your grade and others at the link that you see on the screen, along with a book match form. That's a way that you can get a personalized reading list with suggestions just picked out for you by one of our librarians. See you at the library.